Um, so I grew up in a Christian home and my parents were so hungry to see God move. So I was constantly surrounded by miracles and prayer and worship. So I knew God was real, but I didn't really get to know him until I was in my early teen years. I feel like I didn't really get to know Jesus when I was younger. After I was about 12, I got to explore faith a little bit more. But looking back on the times when I didn't really know Jesus in the different parts of my life, yeah, it just felt like I was missing something in my life and I didn't really know what that, that was. So I feel like I always believed in God my whole life, but I don't think that I made any sort of solid commitment to getting to know God or inviting Jesus into my life. You know, teenage years and early 20s where uh, I look back at those times in my life and I was very lost and I thought lots of different things to kind of like fulfill something that was quite empty inside of me. I still have this vivid memory of my first night at youth group in a little church in Mandra. And during worship, um, I just felt this warmth and this bubbling joy. And something in me knew this was the same God that has been with me ever since a little kid and I thought I never want to forget this. And ever since then it's just been this journey, it hasn't been perfect, but of me getting to know God and figuring out what life looks like with Him. It was definitely when I was about 12 or 13 and I did uh, my Holy Communion with my Nana. I just remember just feeling very just alive and just so like just, I was lit up, I just felt happy and I felt loved and I just felt like something was changing in me and it was really great, like it just felt like I knew who I was becoming. There was a prayer being said in church about offering your heart to Jesus or opening your heart to Jesus and I didn't even know, sort of like my, my, my son put his hand up and before I knew it I was kind of putting my hand up as well. In that moment I just remember feeling like really complete everything, I just had this complete calmness and this confidence that like everything was going to be okay. Jesus has given me peace. I think sometimes life can get intimidating and overwhelming, but it's in times like that where God reminds me through some little thing that he's king, king over my finances, my future, my timeline, and I'm just reminded that I get to be a part of something bigger than just myself and that he works all things for good after coming to Oceans and coming along and doing the Alpha course, the first thing I really noticed was just a, a calmness about everything. I just felt really calm. It just felt really right and I just feel like I've got a new sense of, I guess, belonging and like hope. Um, and I just feel like I've opened my heart right up to him now and just, I really trust, trust the process. I trust him and I'm kind of excited now about the journey to come. Oceans was just home from the second I walked in the door. I was met with some of the most genuine people who just shared the same love for Jesus and love for each other and passion to see each other grow and succeed. And one of those people happened to be my husband. <laughs> I love coming to church, but I also love Tuesday mornings, Hour of Power. The more that we come and the more people we get to know, it, it feels more like a family rather than just people that you come and see every Sunday. Being a part of Oceans has been so refreshing. The Oceans community is a, such a safe place for me where I can come just as I am and be loved, be challenged, be encouraged to grow more into who God has made me to be. For me, being a part of this church means that I've not only seen God work miracles in my own life, but I've had a front row seat to seeing new people walk in and meet the Jesus I know and see transformation in their own lives. And I think that's one of the biggest things that grows my faith. My biggest encouragement for anyone that is thinking about giving their life to God is to do the Alpha course. It definitely answers those questions that you think, oh, I don't really want to ask that or I'm nervous to ask that. It definitely answers those questions, giving you that knowledge and yeah, building the foundation of, of what being Christian is about.